This is Ruthie Oberg with a devotion from history. On December 7, 1941, American soldier Jacob de Shazer was on KP duty in California. Upon hearing the news of the attack on Pearl Harbor, he shouted, Japs, just wait and see what we'll do to you. One month later, he was on a secret surprise mission raid on Tokyo. But he ran out of fuel and was forced to parachute down into Japanese-held territory where he spent the next 40 months in a cruel Japanese POW camp. But after 25 months, the U.S. prisoners were given a Bible to read and Jacob became convinced of its truth. After the war ended, Jacob felt that God wanted him to return to Japan as a missionary. He wrote a tract about his conversion called, I Was a Prisoner of Japan, and he would stand on street corners and pass it out. But in October of 1948, Jacob was discouraged and pleading with God to send some evidence that he was using his work in Japan. It was during this time of discouragement that Jacob handed a tract to a distinguished looking gentleman getting off a train. That man was Mitsuo Fuchida, and he had been the general commander of the air squadron that led the attack on Pearl Harbor. The former Japanese pilot was impressed by the force of the American's testimony and began to read a Bible he had found, and in prayer asked God to change him from a bitter, disillusioned ex-pilot into a well-balanced Christian with purpose in living. The Japanese pilot and American soldier became great friends, and Mitsuo spent the next 25 years of his life telling crowds all over the world about the Jesus Christ who sought him out and saved him. It's just further evidence that the steps of men in history are ordered by their Creator. This is Ruthie Oberg with devotionsfromhistory.org.